It's the gentle steaming action that really makes a difference here. Check out that luscious rice and chicken and oh, so much savory goodness here. This is my version of clay pot chicken rice. Okay, so don't switch off just because you don't have one of those Chinese clay pots that you just saw in the intro. I'm gonna let you know how you can cook it without one of those a little bit later on. That's not the important thing. The important thing is that this rice dish is so comforting, so easy to put together and uh, one of my favorite midweek dinners. All right, let's get into doing the chicken part first of all. So I wanna get loads of flavor into that chicken first up. So I just want some soy sauce into some chicken thighs. I'm a thighs and legs girl. You guys know this by now if you've been watching my channel. I love how juicy it stays, but you know, you can totally use chicken breast as well. Who am I to judge? And some dark sweet soy sauce here as well. Regular dark soy sauce is fine as well. And then just a little dash of sesame oil and some corn flour. So the corn flour here is going to kind of make the chicken and the sauce and the rice and everything a little glossy and a little sticky. So that's kind of like a little, you know, key ingredient here. Just give that a mix. Now, if you're really super organized, leave that to marinate for like 30 minutes or an hour. I'm never really that organized, so I'm just gonna let it sit there while I get everything else ready. Now I've got some shiitake mushrooms here. These are dried and I've had them soaking in some warm water for about half an hour. And the cool thing about keeping these in your pantry is that they add so much flavor to any kind of dish. You could use them for stir fries, throw them into like a pasta sauce as well. And they just kind of keep indefinitely. So they're a great thing to have around. Now the stem part, always a little tough. It's not great. I just like to get rid of it. And I'm just gonna cut that in half. Now the other awesome thing about using dried shiitake mushrooms is that you're left with this really tasty liquid here. So don't waste that. I'm gonna take about half a cup is good and just strain it out because you do sometimes get some little bits in there that you don't necessarily want. So that's good to go. Okay, so now we can get the cooking process started and I'm gonna get everything going in a wok or a frying pan is fine as well. So no clay pot just yet. And now the whole idea with this first cooking part is just to get everything heated through, get those flavors starting to caramelize, but I don't want a really hard heat here because the whole point of clay pot cooking is should be a little bit more gentle, should be all about the kind of steaming process rather than a really hard sear that makes sense. So just a gentle heat here, a little bit of oil, and then I've got some Chinese sausage here. And Chinese sausage is like one of my favorite things. I love it in fried rice. I love the little sweet porky pop of flavor that it gives things. And you can find this in an Asian grocer or even search for it online because it's shelf stable so it doesn't have to be a fresh sausage. Now I like to get these in first. Now I like to get these started first because some of their sweet porkiness kind of comes out and flavors everything else in the wok. And I kind of add a little bit more than you probably normally would, but it's like my favorite part of the clay pot dish. <laughs> just give those a few seconds and I'm just gonna move them over to the side and add in my chicken. So just spread that chicken out and as I said before, we're not after a really hard seal here. I just want the chicken gently starting to color and now some garlic. And some ginger, I'm just gonna grate that straight in here. And now because I'm gonna be transferring this into my clay pot, I wanna make sure I lift off all of the flavor that's kind of baked into the bottom of that wok or the frying pan, whatever you're using. So I'm gonna deglaze with some Chinese Shaoxing lime. Just use some apple juice if you wanted to keep this alcohol free. Now just have a look at that bubbling away there. That's just what I want. And then toss in my mushrooms. Just really scrape up the bottom there. Don't want to miss out on any of that flavor. Now I'm going to stir through my rice. This is just a jasmine rice. Any long grain rice is fine here. And I want to mix that through so all of the rice grains are beautifully coated. And now just a little dash of white pepper. 
Now heat off and let's talk about clay pots. So here we have our typical Chinese clay pot and these guys are typically pretty cheap to buy. You can pick them up from an Asian grocer or have a look online and what the idea here is is that everything cooks very gently so if you don't have one of these just use a really heavy based saucepan will do with a tight fitting lid uh, or you could do a dutch oven that's another option the point is that you just want a really sturdy heavy based kind of pot with a tight fitting lid and that way you're going to cook everything really nice and gently so there you go please don't miss out just because you don't have a clay pot now I'll just get this heating up and I just want a really gentle heat here. Now scoop your rice mixture into your clay pot. Now I've seen loads of different versions of this where you put the rice in and you pile your chicken on top. You can totally do it that way. I like to have my chicken and sausage and everything kind of mixed through, but that's just, you know, my personal thing. And I also find that cooking everything separately and putting it into your pot or saucepan means you kind of get a more even heat distribution and everything is less likely to stick and burn. So a couple of other little tips there. Now, because I'm going to be serving this straight from the heat to the table, I like to kind of, you know, make my mushrooms and everything and chicken look quite nice on the top here. Now let's add in some chicken stock. and then some of that mushroom juice that we saved from earlier. Now what I want to do is see some nice little bubbles, which I can see here, and then I want that heat really low. I've said this uh, ad nauseum in this video, but if the heat is too high or your saucepan is too thin, as in it's not like a heavy base saucepan, you're gonna get a little bit of burnt rice at the bottom, which isn't the end of the world, but you know, we don't want, want too much burnt rice. Now, Put the lid on and that just needs 30 minutes. Oh, so this is smelling truly joyful and now comes the moment of truth. I always get nervous when I take the lid off. Let's have a look. Oh, check out the steam and just look at that rice. Oh, so perfect. And if you just run your fork through there, you can see it's not sticky, it's not gluggy, it's and so the whole idea with this is it just goes straight to the table in all its steaming glory. And I just like to finish it off with just a little dash of sesame oil for some extra fragrance. And let's get a little bit fancy with some spring onion. Oh, that looks so good. And let's dig in there. Oh. You know, this dish just makes me smile. I just love it. Make sure you're getting all the little bits and pieces there. Some chicken, some sausage, some mushroom. Now a little bit of extra greenery. So there you go guys, my clay pot chicken rice. I think it's one of those dishes where you kind of look at it and you think, wow, that looks a bit complicated. It looks a little hard, but as you've just seen, it's totally not. And well, let's just make sure it tastes good for you guys, shall we? My favorite part of the video. All those beautiful flavors. You know, you get that beautiful sesame fragrance, sesame oil fragrance, but that savory chicken and the garlic and everything is kind of permeated right through the rice. So the rice itself is really tasty. And then you get these little pops of the Chinese sausage. Mm. Like this is ultra kind of like Asian comfort food for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yum.